I forgot my mask and she's making fun of me, by the way. Go ahead. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Are you posing? What is that? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jason Woods and welcome to Chasing the Apex. Today we're going to talk about the Pogia Racing Stage 1 tune. And I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so here you go. So, people have been asking me about my experience with Pogia. So, first of all, I want to describe my experience. My experience was really I was on a Facebook forum, I had just bought my 4C. I was looking at tunes and Edward Pogia reached out and said, hey man, I'll sponsor you a tune. And so, which was very pleasant. I really just pulled out the ECU. I showed you guys in another video how it worked. Um, I sent it to him in Germany and he sent it back and then I installed it. Um, so there, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, he paid you. No, he really didn't. So what occurred was, you know, he did ask me to have a dynode and it was, he was very specific about that. Again, you can see that in this video. Um, and it, he was very specific about the dyno. It had to be a Mustang dyno. And he did explain to me that the tune did not come on until it was in dynamic or race mode. So if I was in the, you know, natural mode, it just didn't come on. And so, you know, obviously when I first got in the car, you know, I was in natural mode and I was, and I, you know, and I had messaged him. I'm like, hey man, I don't think this is working. But it turns out I just didn't know how to turn the tune on. And so you have to be in dynamic or race mode. <clears throat> And so, you know, did I have any problems? You know, I'm, I'm actually, you know, a year, probably a little more than that, a year or more into my 4C, and I've never had a problem with it. Um, it's never thrown a fault. Now, mind you, it's a stage one tune. It does, you know, it, it boosts it to 300, uh, 300 brake horsepower at the crank. So what the actual is, I don't know, you know, not that guy. So that's my first statement there. My next statement is, is what is he like as a person or what was my dealings with him? Well, as a person, when he was in California, he didn't, I mean, he was just in California. He was like, hey bro, you wanna meet up for some beers? I don't know, seemed like a pretty normal guy to me. Um, and you know, if I'm ever in Germany, Edward, I hope to meet up with you and uh, grab a pint. I know I owe you one. And uh, he did correct me for saying pretzel instead of pretzel though. I said pretzel and he said, he said, no, you man, it's pretzel you silly Americans. But you know, other than that, I mean, it was, it was a great experience. That's the first thing I want to cover today. Um, so tomorrow what we have is I have a former SCCA racer coming to actually test the, uh, test the 4C. And so you guys will see that sometime next week. And uh, Jeff, thanks for doing that. And he's, he's got a lot of experience with cars, much more than I do, obviously. Why he runs a fishing channel is beyond me. This dude who runs circles around me on the track. Great dude, really fast guy. He's gonna come out and run the 4C with the tune and kind of talk about how it feels to him. So we have that coming. So real quick, I wanna close this with a couple shout outs. One is to Joy672. Hey, go over there, give this girl a look, man. She's really talented. She does some, she has some really great dialogue and she does a little bit of everything. She's reading, she's playing video games. She's got a really loyal following. So for you folks that are interested in that video game stuff, go check her out, man. She's pretty awesome. She's really helpful to the YouTube community. She's always willing to provide feedback and she's there for you when you need it. And so shout out to Joy. Joy, this is for you. Um, guys, go over, tell her we sent you. I'll put her link up. Actually, I'll put it up right there. And then I'll put it down there. Do me a favor, man. Go check her out. Tell her I said what's up. I also want to give a shout out to Silver. Silver has a channel, but she doesn't tape anything. She's a really big supporter of the community though. So if you're a new tuber and you don't know Silver, you're missing out, man. She is amazing. She's an amazing person and she's an amazing supporter of the YouTube community, especially us new tubers. And I, you know, I've had this argument before. People are like, oh, well, you're not a new tuber anymore. No, brother, I still am. I've only been doing this a year. Lots of you guys have more experience than I do. I look up to you guys. Um, and I take seriously every bit of feedback you guys give me. I'm not a perfect guy, I make mistakes all the time. Um, and thank you for tolerating that. And for those of you that watch, thank you for watching Chasing the Apex, man. I know you have other choices, but we hear, I value your time. So we're gonna see Bill, we're gonna see uh, Jeff. Please go check out Joy. And do me a favor, man. Go over and subscribe to Silver because I told her if she could get 100 subscribers that she had to put out a video. Because she, she's been supporting everybody forever but she's scared to put out a video. 
Go on, man. Go tell her what's up. All right. Thanks for watching Chasing the Apex, and we'll see you later on next week.